Revlon has expanded their Color Stay Foundation formula. They now have a light coverage texture. This is marketed as a lightweight, long-lasting fluid foundation for your skin only better look. This new light coverage will be the exact opposite of also the newer foundation. I believe it's called Total Coverage Foundation or something like that, but it's in the tube style and that one is supposed to give the full coverage matte appearance to the skin. Now something else for us hydrated, dewy skin, natural finish lovers. Coverage foundation is very new. So new I could not find any information online, not even on the brand's website. This was available at my local drugstore, so CVS, so just check your local drugstores and hopefully it's starting to come in soon. Now on the display there's 12 shades. So I see it as 12 light, uh, excuse me, four light, four medium, and then four as the deep shade. Due to the lack of information online, I did test this foundation out based upon the claims on the actual display. So on the display, it states that it is lasting for up to 12 hours. It has an undetectable coverage, so very skin tone forgiving. Think of it that way. It's SPF 34, broad spectrum for the UVA and UVB, and then the shades are designed to be adaptable. I went by the color shade of Cappuccino by EyeSight, but also because Cappuccino is what I tend to fall under in the existing color stay, the liquid foundation. Fortunately, Cappuccino turned out to be a lot lighter than what I had thought. So here's the first thing I'm going to, the first con I'm going to say about this foundation is trying to pick out your shade is going to be difficult by eyesight. Trying to go by the name of what you probably currently already wear in the liquid, it's not matching up to the light coverage. Now also, based on the brand stating it's a little bit more forgiving, Unfortunately, the undertone in this formula is not. Meaning if you are, let's say, a cool undertone, you choose a warm, you are definitely going to see, doesn't matter that the shade might be a little bit more forgiving across you know, several spectrum of the color, the undertone is going to push through. I did go back to uh, CVS and I picked out the next color, which is the shade Mocha. The color Mocha is a lot more forgiving on my skin tone, even though it may appear like the bottle design is a lot uh, deeper, the undertone still is strong. It's coming through. So unfortunately, my skin undertone is clashing a bit with, um, doesn't matter which shade I am, um, I pick up. I did mix cappuccino and mocha together. I wanted to see how much of mocha the actual skin tone would kind of adjust cappuccino. And it does deepen it to where it's like, okay, it's forgiving on my skin tone. But again, the undertone is coming through just strong as can be. So once it's fully dried on my skin, it's not um, changing tone. It's not looking like orange or whatnot. It's not doing any of that. It's just really keeping that undertone strong and then clashing against my own. So unfortunately, um, mixing those two together didn't help. However, by seeing those two mixed together and the undertone, it reminded me right off the bat of my MAC Face and Body Foundation. Now in this shade, I am in seven, so uh, neutral seven. Even though this shade was very close to what mocha and cappuccino mixed together looks like, this undetectable, truly undetectable Revlon blends right into my skin and gives me not only a light coverage, it also provides that natural finish on my skin. Light Cover Foundation has SPF 34. It is a mix of both physical as well as a chemical sunscreen. So the physical aspect of it is the zinc and the titanium dioxide. So I actually was quite happy to see that. Now, I do like to say, as I usually do, when I'm holding up something that says SPF, do not rely on your foundation to give you that SPF protection please. But it's there if you're not, if, if you're like, I ain't gonna listen to you, girl, I'm not gonna listen. It's there. So you have a pretty good um, broad spectrum right there. Now I did make some notes about the scent. 
I don't know if the scent of this uh, light cover foundation is because of the mix of the physical and chemical sunscreen. I'm not sure. But the smell of it is what I would just personally say like a chemical. It doesn't smell like sunscreen, like if you'd put on sunscreen. It doesn't smell like that. It smells like a chemical. So I, I don't know what it's coming from. However, the smell does not linger. So it's not like I put it on and I can smell it all day long. I only smell it during the application aspect of it and just fiddling around with it. Otherwise, I don't smell it. But it is a, a smell that I can do without, put it that way. So just again, want to be completely honest with you. Whenever I'm testing a foundation on the first day, I will not wear any primer. I need to see how it's going to adjust to my skin, oils, and the tone. I need to see that. So I don't want any other interference. So I didn't wear any primer. And like I had mentioned before, I didn't see any adjustments in the color and so forth. It didn't do any of that. I do feel that this finish of the light cover runs, I feel, a lot dewier on the skin versus what I would say that natural look. I do have my first check-in. I think I was talking in that clip as well. So this is at the eight hour mark. Roll it. From what I can see in the magnifying mirror, it is settling in the smile lines which my other skin tints do not. I just want to make note of that. It has, you know, a lot of my oils come through, but I feel that it is, it's dewy. It's given off that dewy appearance from the time of application, of course, until now. Oh, I, my phone's kind of shaking a little bit, so it might be a little wobbly. After my workout is over, then it'll be already after the 12th hour mark. So I will do a check-in before I take it off. And I am looking forward to taking it off. I don't know if this foundation is supposed to be transfer proof, if it's supposed to be again like locked into place based on the color state name, no information. But I just wanted to work out with it because I was just curious to see you know, how much of it would transfer off. Um, the, the amount that I expected it to transfer off on my gym towel did, or my living room gym towel, it, it did transfer off enough, but there still also isn't any real drastic change in my skin. That's what I felt. It just looked the same as it did before I worked out and did that check-in. So here's my check-in at 12 hours. Roll the clip. I noticed I was touching my face a lot more because it was itching in certain spots. That never happens. Like barely ever happens when I work out. Um, and I had to grab the towel a lot to like use it almost kind of like to itch instead of my hand. So I think, um, I, I, I just think it's this foundation, skin tint, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I will be wearing it again, but at least you can see what it looks like after workout. Full 12 hours. There you go. Last thing I want to touch on is the whole lightweight approach to this foundation, since that's one of the claims from the brand. The formula texture is not what I would consider lightweight at all. This is the formula, even if I just, when I first used cappuccino, I felt it on my skin. And then I mixed both the two together and it started to feel a lot more heavier on the skin. Not too heavy, but it's a noticeable feel on the skin. So I don't see this as lightweight. What this feels like to me, it's as if I'm putting on an oil, like a tinted oil on my skin. That's exactly what it feels like. The only difference is that oil is tinted. It has a tint to it. So I, that is something I do not like. Now, I don't shave my face, but in my magnifying mirror, what I noticed is as I was rubbing it in with my fingers, whenever it wanted to grab onto a hair, if there was just something on my skin, it would grab to it. Here we go, another Pac-Man, another Pac-Man foundation. It would want to do that. And there's a little bit of area that I need to kind of work it in. So that's what it feels like. Based on my own experience, this isn't a foundation that I would recommend as a lightweight, light cover foundation. Based on the aspect of, I feel that it is heavy. The texture is, is definitely there. I can feel it on the skin. And also, 
based on the fact is you really got to narrow down your undertone to get a realistic, natural look on the skin. It's as simple as that. Let me know in the comments if you plan on picking this up once it hits your local uh, drugstore. I would love to know your thoughts. And thank you very much for stopping by and watching. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. Look out for yourself and most of all, look out for each other. I'll talk to you later.